Hey everybody, Mr. A with Tuesday's Tech Tip of the Week. Today we're going to learn four different tips and tricks to be more efficient when using Google Classroom. The first is to schedule posts. So if you are posting in one class, you can schedule it to appear at a particular day and a particular time. To do that, you click the down arrow next to assign, choose the date and time, and then click scheduling. It'll be basically uh, in a grayed out mode that only you can see until the time and day of the scheduled post. Tip number two is to use assignment links. So if you have a particular assignment that a student might be missing and you want to send them a direct message like, hey, you need to do this, you can copy a link to the assignment by clicking the three dots next to that particular assignment in the class that the student is in and then writing them an email and pasting that link. When they click that link, it'll bring them directly to the assignment in their classroom. And so it kind of takes away some of the obstacles that might prevent them from doing some work. Tip number three is to use the comment bank. So in Google Classroom, if you look at student assignments along the margin, there is a section that is the comment bank. If you click it, you can add to the bank and create your own list of comments. So if you find yourself writing the same thing over and over and over again, you can add it. Then when you highlight and you click the comment bank as you start to type it, it'll recognize what it is. Um, Mark Dumont has a really cool series of comments you might want to see if you're an ELA teacher. You might want to reach out to him. But again, it makes uh, a little bit more efficient so you don't have to keep typing the same thing over and over and over again. Tip number four is to use the at and comment or check tasks to assign particular tasks to students. So what do I mean by that? In classroom, if you want the students to do something in particular, if you highlight the text and click comment, you write what you want to write and you start to type their name, their name will appear. You then can check the assign box, click assign, and it will send them an email specifically saying that you have assigned them a task within a particular document. So it's a good way to, to redirect or recall attention to a particular space and to assign students specific things via email. So those are four different tips and tricks that you can use to be more efficient when using Google Classroom. For Tuesday's Tech Tip of the Week, I'm Mr. A.